um, some pieces for people close to me in one way or another who have passed. I'm reading from a brand new book of mine. It's called 80 Moods of Maya and Other Photo Poetic Moments from my uh, photo collection, edited by uh, a young brother named um, Howard Ramsey. The first 80 photos are of Maya Angelou going back to 1976, and the remainder, remaining ones are of everybody from, you name it, Quincy Troop, Curtis Lyle, to um, Michael Castro, Cheryl LaFleur, um, Miles, um, you name it. Um, a poet named Reginald Lockett was born in 1947 and died this year. And we brought him to the St. Louis area on several occasions, the last one being 2007. Um, he died in April. Um, excuse me, he died in May on my daughter's birthday, May 15th. This is a Kwan Saba for Reginald. Panther, poet, and good footer. Could songify like a word wind ballad dear. Enters yes tomorrow's funky fall. Evers, wearing peace epaulet over war mangled grace, lean like love's hitman into born again ears of a blues convert, blowing on the corner of West Oakland. West Africa. <laughs> Milestone, the birth of an ancestor for Miles Dewey Davis III, 1926 1991, in memoriam, in futurium. Dressed up in pain. The flatted fifth began its funereal climb up the tribal stairwell. Grief radiant as it bulged and gleamed with moans, spread like laughter, ha, 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 or Ethiopia's wings, mourned its own percussive rise became blues born in the horse East St. Louis air. Bore witness to the roaring calm, the garrulous silence, the caskets of tears, the gushing stillness, the death of the cool, became the birth of an ancestor. Yeah, the birth of the cool. The death of the cool became the birth of an ancestor. One more eulogistic, elegiac poem for Barbara Ann Tear childhood friend of mine who grew up a few streets away, founded the National Black Theater, and along the bottom of that theater are carvings by Yorba uh, sculptors, artists from Oshogbo and a couple of other places in Nigeria. You have to see it, the 125th and 5th in Harlem, the National Black Theater. She passed in July. One of 
two newspaper poems and that the second newspaper poem will be the last. Uh, this appeared in the East St. Louis Monitor along with pictures of the funeral there. If anybody would like this when I finish reading it, you're welcome to have it. The Quansaba is a form of poetry that we invented in East St. Louis in 1995. It's a 49-word poem. There are three of them in this elegy. Three Quansabas for homegirl Barbara Ann Harlem homegoing. You entered East St. Love in 1937. Jump Street's action arts baby, riding a streak of gray hair that Mother Lila said meant wealth. Now wearing purple and white, mourner and reveler, drawn like you by horse, drummer, chanter, and horn blower, possess Harlem's flesh, brick, and glass scape. Outside Riverside Church, an elegant elephant greets you. Dove and balloon release you, but not your East St. African leg a uh, sea, a soul trust of priests, Avery Brooks, the Lithkoff, Omi and Sade, Little Bobby, Faisons and Samuels, Warbler Goddess, Roberta Flack, Ruby D, Woody King, Amiri and Sonia, dancing arcs of Alvin Ailey's Agile arcs, gracing mazes of air in limb and song. Glenn Turman, Robert Hooks, the latter through a letter by Hattie Winston, letting light in, you wrote to steer lost loves from self-hatred's glowing magnets of deceit back into the arms of East St. Harlem. And my last poem appeared in this week's St. Louis American, along with some poems by three legends, Shirley LaFleur, Curtis Lyle, and um, Quincy Troop, His Excellency, another road, another road dog. Quincy will be in tomorrow. We spoke this morning. He's supposed to be in Texas, but uh, you know, you know what's happening. So, you know, and you know, Quincy don't like to miss no honorarium. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that <laughs> he didn't go to Texas. So we had a little joke about that. Um, this. Piece. It's called A Cross Century Whirlview from the Flight Deck of an A Train, T R A N E. Board the winged Arkansippi A Train and swing from the Middle Passage Express to heights of consciousness. Signified with floods and faults, tornado alleys and catfish valleys, rip in rifts with indigenous dreamers and indentured schemers. Disembark in Harlem and eavesdrop on Langston Hughes and Marcus Garvey crooning, cover me. Mother Africa, stay till the Count, W.E.B., and the Duke pick up the chorus. Dig wild blues wonders, lives and deaths of Bird, Billy, and Bebop, heard beyond earshot of Hiroshima and the Ville. 
laying sky rails of soul for Bossa Nova's late 50s ride, for Dakota's late, late show, Doo-Wop's silhouettes, BB's Lucille, and MLK's freedom flight. Returning to the mothership, descend past abductees and soldier poets, sheets of sound and cahokia mounds, bags, grooves, and Dunham's moves meant to wake walking dead, human spillages and reality villages, then land in the land of everybody's mama and a savior named Obama.